ओके वेलकम टू क्लाउड एंड टेक टूटोरियल्स जो आज का हमारा टॉपिक है द टॉपिक विच वी आर प्लानिंग टू डिस्कस टूडे इज मल्टी पाथिंग आई नो वी हैव बीन रेपिटेटिवली अप्रोच टू पुट कॉन्स्टेंट वीडियोज बट ड्यू टू दिस कोविड टाइम्स आई एम आई एम ऑप्टिमिस्टिक एवरी वन वर्क इन ग्रेट हेल्थ एंड गुड स्टेट ऑफ माइंड सो वी आर नॉट एबल टू फोकस but from now onwards i will try to put constant videos on youtube so the topic for today is multipathing so let's try to explain it so multipathing is a concept where you actually try to provide a redundant path between multiple uh, systems within the compute right so let's take an example of a storage which is sitting separate to the operating system and that storage is connected via single wire right due to some consequences that single wire gone bad so then your storage will not be available for that operating system and then anything which is accessing that storage will have issues and you will end up having an outage right so what about i connect two different wires from the same storage to your operating system and somehow tell your operating system if my one wire goes down then you can still either fail back to the other connection or you there is another wire you can use to to uh, the storage access so in that in that process you have provided a multi path between your storage component and between your compute component so this is actually a concept of multi pathing and there is lot of more science into it lot of more technology into it but this is basically what multi pathing is and multi pathing can be between storage and compute can be between compute and your network services it can be between your over stack and under stack right so basically it is a redundancy between your between the components of compute it it came into life when companies like cisco dell or maybe you can say uh, they they started coming up with this unified computing systems right so they want have want to have these different components being managed differently and at that point of time the storage was not that cheap so you need to have different data centers where you can have storage components being separated out from the other components so in that scenario if you want to upgrade a single storage right then or if you want to upgrade a software on one line then you can't bear an outage on this okay so then in that scenario you you have the choice to fail over your storage access to your other connection update it fail over back to the first connection update the second one in that scenario you are having an option where you have a redundancy and you provide that high availability so it also can be used as a fault tolerance so that i already explained in my first example now we can go into the specifics how those those are configured for red hat it, they are configured they are using different algorithm they called it round robin algorithm they called it priority first algorithm every vendor has their own settings which you can go ahead like in linux system you can go into multipart.com and do those settings and if you are using iscsi they have a different setting so basically then this topic become a vendor specific configs right but i am hopeful you got a gist of it what actually multi path is it is just providing a redundancy between different components of compute storage network so that in case of any failures your system can still have still have that real time availability it yeah the concept is same basically if you are talk about raid right raid provide redundancy by splitting or by mirroring or by keeping bits randomly in three different parts 
in the same way the, the this concept provided an energy into your connection so i'm hopeful you got the gist of it thank you for watching this video keep sharing keep liking cloud and tech tutorials